All right, a couple of weeks back, well, probably a couple of months back now. Uh, let me get all this out of the way. This sensor is not doing it. That's all there is to it. This thing, it just doesn't want to work, so I'm not going to bother with it anymore. There's something wrong with it. It tuned all the way down, and even with it tuned all the way down, um, it doesn't shut off. So there's a reason why I haven't used it. Am I recording? Oh yeah, meanwhile I'm throwing you guys around like crazy. I'm sorry guys. Hold on, let me put some of these lights back. I'm not going to turn on all the lights. I just need to do this one thing real quick. If you guys remember back, I'm going to say a couple months, I put the uh, small fan up here. And that is not a magnet sticking to everything. And that is... Uh, a fan that I use for when I'm soldering. It pulls the smoke away from me. because you don't really want to be breathing in solder smoke. Uh, not a good thing. So everything was working. And I uh, hooked everything up. But uh, for some reason, I know. Oh, I had a piece here. Oh, no, I got two pieces. Okay. So I also got another computer here. Um, but if I need to something, if I'm going to work here, it's great if I need some, to look up a schematic or something so I don't have to keep getting up and down. I don't use it a lot, but it, when I do use it, I'm glad I got it here. Uh, and if I need to send, say I'm in the house and I find something in there that I may need on a bench here, like a schematic on something, uh, I can email it to that computer so I can just find it so I don't have to look for it again. All right, so what I want to do is try to get this thing straight. So let's do that. Yeah, that might be good. Yeah, all right. So anyway, uh, this fan does not want to turn. And it was turning. I got to do something about those. Uh, so I gotta figure out why it's not turning. Yeah, it's hitting something. So why is it doing that? Because it wasn't doing it before. It's doing it now. Now, okay. Now that it's in there, I'm walking this way. Have you guys noticed that no matter what side I'm on, I'm always walking to the other side? And now I'm looking for the red Milwaukee. Like I say, I work on that side, I'm walking over to this side. I walk, work on this side, I'm walking over to that side. Alright, so, why isn't this turning? What the hell is it hitting on? Right there, whatever it is. Oh, I think I see it. Right there. Okay, hold on. This is probably going to be an easy fix. I don't know how it happened. 
because it looks like an easy fix. There we go. Well, now I think I know how it happened, if that's it. Yeah, that was it. That was it. How it happened is I'm going to tell you as soon as I get this screwed back in. I'll hook it up to a switch another day. was I was up above here this light what the hell is this thing now oh that's a magnifier okay this light up here started to hang down right in here uh, for some reason it was wet and loose so I decided to throw some epoxy up there and I put tape to hold it until the epoxy dried well, as you can see, that little drip right there, the epoxy dripped down, and it hit and fell inside the fan, and it was stopping the blade from turning, because it gave me a little piece of drippage over here in the corner. So now that that's done, and if I take this, I got to change these. I'm not going to change them. I just got to put some glue on them. All right, and if I turn this on now, here we go. Okay. Now that's not blowing on me, it's coming away from me. So it'll blow the smoke out and out the back. So that's working. Let's turn it up a little bit. I only got a little bit of voltage on it. There, I only had four volts on it. I got 11.9. So, so that's good. That's working. Good. Okay, let's back this back down to the voltage and turn it off. Now these things, this is what I was talking about. And I'll show you in a minute. When I go to pinch this, they want to turn on the inside. See it? because they're smooth and shiny, so you, you can't, you see what's happening? So what I need to do is back this out and just put a little bit of glue on that right there and then put this back over it so that this will be glued to that so that uh, it won't turn and it'll still work. But see, I mean, because this is a pain in the ass. Every time you try to clip it, it turns on you. You know what? Maybe I'll do that right this second. Now that I'm thinking about it, why not? Uh, let's see here. Let's get it down here. Okay. Doesn't take much. I just want to go crazy. What do they call it? CA? Oh, God. Anyway. So let's back this up. Lack of saw. And I'll put a little glue on it right there. And I'll slide that back over. Hopefully. Well, first I gotta get the glue to come out. That'll help. That will be a good thing. What do you think, guys? Where's my little, uh, a little punch with a little hole in it. Here it is. Come on, come on. There you go. Oh. Try this again.
should have done this first. Alright, we'll do it. We'll get it done anyway. I'll show you what I should have done first. There, should have put my finger in it first so I could have got that on there. Now when I let it go, we got pressure there. See what I mean? So to open that up, put my finger in there. Get some on this side. Put a little bit on that side. Now this will slide over. And now when I get my finger off there, it puts pressure on that. And now it should be okay. And there's nothing on the hinge. So that's not going to stop anything. And we're done. I could have put some accelerator. Accelerator. <laughs> yeah, okay. Someday the lips will start to work right. Uh, and there, and it would have hardened it up quicker, but I'm in not a bigger hurry. I'm in not a bigger hurry. I'm a turning that tie in. Every now and then it comes out. I got a wee bit in there. I got a wee bit. Uh, apparently that wee bit every now and then wants to come out. Especially when I start swearing. You see, if I start swearing in Chinese and Japanese and Greek, nobody will know what I'm saying. Everybody knows the Italian square words. I started talking anything different, they'll be, what did he say? What did he say? And they'd be getting on looking it up. Oh, that's what he said. Okay. So, that's done. I'm going to put a switch on it right there, or right there, maybe. And so this show way I don't have to hook up the jumpers to it. And I just got to flip it a switch. And I got plenty of switches because Wally 66... Ron sent me like a hundred of them. And uh, they come in handy because I use them. I think I may have about 40 or so left. You'd be surprised uh, how many times you can use a good switch. Uh, and that's going to be one of them right there. So, should I do that now? Nah. Yeah. What else am I doing? It's only 12 o'clock. Let me turn on some lights. Yeah. The generator. Now, do I want to hook them up there or over here? Where do I want to hook it up? Now I can hook it up to this set of jumpers, or I can hook it up to this set of jumpers. Nah, I don't want to hook them up over here. It's going to be easier to hook them up up there. Okay, so what do I need? I need... Who that? I have no idea who that is. Um, I need to go from here. I need to go from here to there. But I want to come around and under and down. Now, do I want to use... Uh, I think this will work. Yeah, I need to use some of this. I got all that scrap wire down there too, so that's what I keep it for, for these little pieces. So why am I keep going into the rolls? I am saving scrap wires to use for this, and then what do I do? Uh, scrap! 
crap. I don't want individual wiring. I want it to be together. Those are relays. You know, I put those in here, and after I did that, I'm saying, you know what? That'll work. I had relays in here before, and I took them out and put them someplace. Now, what did I just say would work? This may be long enough. A little stiff, but you know what? Uh, I think it's long enough. It's not going to take a whole lot of voltage either. The casing kind of sucks, but I'm not worried about that. But it is kind of stiff. That I don't care for. Well, let's see what happens. What, what do I have over here? I got more over here. Smaller wire. That's a one wire. I'm looking for like the pair. Like this would be great if that's a pair. Let's see. I don't want five or six in one. I just want two. Oh, that's too small. There's four in there. That's a piece of coax. What's this one? Oh, that's another five. Come on. I mean, all this wire will work, but I want to be together. So I don't have two wires to run. This is great, but it's too thin. Even though it's solid, it's still too thin. Come on, now I know I got it. Uh, with that? No, that's only one. Wait a minute, what's this one? There we go. That may do it. And it's soft. Yeah, I think I got it. Oh, there's another piece there. Uh, another piece. All right. Okay, one of these is a little bit more flexible, this one, and it's two. This one is okay, I, the casing's kind of that's odd, but I wouldn't care, but the casing itself is making it stiff, and I don't want it stiff to where it's going to bite me. So I'll put that back over there, I think this is going to be enough right here. I think, I think, yeah. So I think we have it. Now, seeing that this one's already a little off, where do I want to put the switch? On this side, so I'm going to use that on that side. And I don't need a whole lot of it off here. I just want to get this case off without destroying the wire under it. What are we going to use here? Clippers. I don't know how many pairs of these I have. They're all over the place, but I need new ones. right here. Remember I said I'm always getting up to get these connectors? That's why I moved them over here. Well now what am I doing? I'm looking over there for them. When they're over here. Uh-huh. Okay, no. There we go. They're more convenient right there to be honest with you. I'm glad I moved them. I'm not gonna tin these because you know what? They're in here. Yeah, it'd be a better connection, but for what it's used on, I don't care. Crimp! I think that's going to be wide enough. I got two different widths on the uh, opening of the drawers.
Okay, now, these are separated, so I don't have to worry about them shorting out. And that's also off. So, put this back on. I can see that, yeah? There you go. And that's going to be the negative side, so you have to get them with it. That one's the big one. Nice and nicely. That's where your hands want it. So go ahead, put them right next to it. Oh, touch mark. Touch mark. Let's see the power side. Because I have these other wires hanging around here driving me nuts. I'll show you in a minute. There you go. Now it's all still there. Yeah. I don't know if you can see these wires here or not. These are little grabbers. And I'm trying to work, work and they're right there in my face. Okay. So if we're there, no, I'm right underneath the earth. What the hell is that for? Why did I do that? Is that power? Uh, sure is. I did that without even realizing it. Wow. Wow. I'll show you a little while about in a minute here. Yeah, normally, when I hook up a bench, and I wasn't thinking when I did this, but when I hook up a bench underneath uh, of each shelf, I usually run like a three-quarter inch piece of like conduit. Because if I ever need to run wires, you know, I don't have to worry about them. I can just run them through the conduit and not have any issues. Um, now I'm going to need a butt connected. And I need two of these little push-ons. Boy, oh, that's no good. Yeah, just throw it on the floor, Buzz. There. Actually, I'd rather have these here. That and that. Okay. Let me get a switch. Thank you, Ron. Now, uh, where the hell are we? Oh, here we are. There and here. So this one, do I want to switch the ground? Yeah, I'm going to switch the ground. I'm going to leave the power on. So let's take this and put this on here. Now, there's a couple of ways I can do this. I can put the two wires together and use just one side of this and crimp them. And then I have an open side for another 12 volts if I want to extend it off. And this wire, uh, well, you know what? It would probably handle a couple of them. So if I'm gonna do that, yeah, I'm gonna do that. So let me, uh, power supplies off. I'm going to take it off right about there. Try to get this off again with a bad pair of wire strippers. Uh, sometimes it's better to have them not so sharp. But it's also better to have them when you have good glasses on so you can see what the hell you're doing. So I'm going to switch to the negative side. And I'm going to leave the positive side straight on through. Now I do want to cut that a little bit. Where the hell is my cutter? Oh, I left it on the other side. Is that what I did? Oh, the tractor's coming. The 
to the strong possibility that it'll be here today. 4500 for $14. Now, considering, considering what? Well, considering we really haven't put any money into that thing in 14 years. And the problem was due to a bad batch of fuel. I guess that's not bad. Now that we'll just plug onto here. We'll put that one on there. And we'll put this one up here. And I'm just going to put these two together like I planned, like I was talking about. Not so much planned. It wasn't a plan until I finally decided to do it. It was an idea. So now we're going to pop these two together. Because this wire that's coming across from that power supply can be used, if I can find a buck connector I just had. Oh. Well, if I stop throwing shit on the floor. But if I didn't have all the shit on the floor, the floor would probably wear out faster. <laughs> But like I was saying, this wire that I'm using is heavy enough to run a couple of small things. And one of them, I can already have an idea. All right. So if I turn this on, that on. I don't know if you can see it, but it's on. And now it's off. There. Turn the power supply off. Stick this in the rubber. I'm just gonna get the switch up here. And you know what? Hot glue gun will do it. So let's get the glue gun.